Hey guys, I am so excited to be back with you guys. <laughs> I have been gone. I traveled to Australia for just over two weeks, but uh, to prepare for the trip and to recover after the trip, I feel like I've been gone for almost a month. So I apologize for being out of uh, the regular routine of Posh and my video postings. I was able to schedule one to post while I was uh, traveling, but that wasn't enough to cover all the time that I was gone. So um, hopefully no one has missed me too much because I know that my videos still aren't watched too much. But if that ever changes, um, if you see a gap in my postings, that'll explain why. Is because I have been in Australia, which I got to tell you, it is definitely a place that you need to have on your list of places to go. Um, when I first thought of Australia, I thought of, you know, Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter, Safaris, Big Scary Bugs, and Marsupials. And that was about it. But I didn't realize how beautiful and lush the entire eastern coast was of the entire country. So we traveled to Sydney. Then we went up north to Brisbane, and then even further north to a place called Cairns, which is spelled C-A-I-R-N-S, and it's a town that is known for uh, the Australia rainforest meeting the Great Barrier Reef. It was a beautiful town. We ended up doing a three-day live-aboard scuba dive trip where we were out on the reef for three days sleeping on a boat and did nothing but scuba diving. It was the coolest experience. So beautiful. Um, the reef does need a little bit of help, but it was so extravagant and so amazing to see um, how expansive everything was. It was nothing like I've ever seen. And the people are nice. The food was great. Like, it was just a wonderful trip. So, what I wanted to come to you guys today with was to share with you the posh that I brought with me. Uh, to my trip and to sh share with you why I feel like these are probably the most essential products you could have because they were worth it to travel with. They were well used. Um, so let's get into it. First things first, a 17 hour plane ride direct from Dallas to Sydney is one heck of a plane ride. Okay, with circulated air going that long, I needed to hydrate my hands like no one's business. Anytime I went to the bathroom, which you need to be drinking a lot of water because that's good to keep you plump and hydrated while you're uh, up in the air. But every time I'd go to the bathroom, I'd want to wash my hands and then apply this Big Fat Yummy hand cream because this is my favorite scent. And um, it just made me feel good. It made me feel, while I was on that plane ride, like I could relax and it got me brought back to my central um, space. Um, so hand cream I was using all of the time and same with the lip balms. Um, freaking love these things. Like every day when I'm going to work, I'll put this on and they're just so easy to travel with. Um, and I've been using this one, gosh, for three or so months and I still have more. This is probably a third or more the tube left so still have a good amount of it left um so i was using that a ton um then when i was um about ready to get off the plane i wanted to like make myself look refreshed because we were just going to start the day like it was morning do the touristy thing all day and then crash and hopefully that was going to get our sleep schedule adjusted um so I put the You've Got It Glowing On primer on with, uh, I always mix this with my moisturizer, um, mix it, put it on, and it just gives you some sparkle and some sheen, and it just picks you up for the day. And so this was really, really nice to be able to just carry on with me, because it's, it's half an ounce. I just put this in my carry-on, and all, well, half the stuff I'm showing you is travel-friendly to carry on with you. Um, so this primer was really good, um, and I also I probably should have started with this before the primer, but Impish Eyes, um, this is another product that I've been using a lot, and uh, this one is just good for like depuffing your eyes. It's like an eye serum um, rather than an eye cream, so it's nice and lightweight. It goes on real smooth. Um, the metal ball is nice and cooling, and you know when you're like 
zonked out and you're just confused about what time it is, you can just put this on and it perks up your eyes and just wakes you up and it makes you feel a lot better. So I love that I brought this with me in fish eyes. Um, another thing that I found that was really, really useful, which I have not used this more and I am so glad that I brought this with me, was Baradol. Baradol is our, or it's Bear It All. Sorry if I say that fast, but Bear It All is our three-in-one micellar, micellar water. Um, so it's micellar tonic. So it's micellar water. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but it's a three-in-one. It um, cleanses your face. It uh, removes your makeup. And it hydrates your skin. So I was getting Bear It All. You can see it screws off has this little pour top and I just pour a couple drops onto my um, little cotton round and um, that's how I clean my face. Oh, and I totally forgot. Of course, when I was in the shower, when I, you know, this is just like a spot clean, you know, anytime I felt like I needed to freshen up um, on the plane, this was good. Um, any night that like, or any day that we were just busy doing stuff, scuba diving especially, and I just wanted to like freshen up, but I didn't have time to shower or anything, I used Baradol and of course my handy dandy BFF, which we all know and love. Um, it's my staple face wash and it should be for everybody. Um, let's see what else. Oh, another thing that I brought with me that I didn't end up using a whole lot was our Fake It Till You Make It tanning cream. I really thought that I wanted to get some color while I was there, but it was so cold because we went in um, the end of August to the, I don't know, first third of September. In Texas, that's pretty much as hot as we get. So we were in 100 plus degree weather. But uh, in Australia, they're in the Southern Hemisphere, um, their seasons are switched, so it was Australia's winter. So in Sydney, which is on the um, more southern side of the country, it actually gets colder the more south you go. Again, it's opposite. So it was 40 to 50 degrees. So it was really cold compared to what we were used to, you know, in the 100 degree weather. So I was not wearing shorts and I didn't feel like I needed to be tan, but you know, I like this. It's four ounces. It's not very heavy. It's great to bring with you and if you think that you need color because this gives you color in a couple of days. So I'm glad I brought this with me just in case I was going to need it because um, better to need and not have and it didn't add a lot of weight to my suitcase to make it inconvenient to bring. Um, another thing, I love the Purifier Skin Stick. Um, this guy Luckily, I did not need as much as I thought either, but in Australia, you think of all these bugs, and I didn't know how uh, itchy I was going to get, you know, like just, yeah. and luckily, you know, I didn't get bit a whole lot, but I did need this a couple of times. Um, oh, I forgot to bring, I ended up bringing the healer too, and I used that more just from cuts and bruises and scrapes and anything else that, you know, we were hiking and, um... Scuba diving actually rubbed our shins or our um, ankles raw from the fins because we were scuba diving so much. So I was just using the healer and um, that helped so much. Anything that was irritated skin outside of a bug bite, the healer was great. And then the purifier, glad I had this, glad I also didn't need it that much. Um, so when it comes to showering, I didn't really know what I was going to expect because we did a lot of Airbnbs, so I didn't know if they were going to provide um, shampoo, conditioner, soap, all of that, but I wanted to kind of have my bases covered, and I ended up bringing um, our Posh shampoo and conditioner as if I hair and trust to impress. So what I found that I love about these guys is um, they're six ounces each, which covers you for depends on how often you wash your hair, but a month or two probably. Um, but I don't wash my hair that often, maybe twice a week. Um, so this is gonna last me forever. And it, it was the perfect, it truly was the perfect travel size because it's not like I was bringing those giant shampoos with the pumps. Um, it was really good and handy to just have this kind of size uh, available to be able to use if I needed it. 
Um, I really wanted to focus on using as much products as possible from Posh, but I knew that that wasn't realistic, but this is something that I wanted to bring because I knew that, again, it wouldn't take up too much space and I would be doing my hair quite a favor. Um, another thing that I'm really glad I brought was I brought some snarky bars, but I brought my samples of them because with snarky bars, you know that they melt in the shower, um, they kind of come off over time, and so I figured what I could do is for each couple of uses, like each place we were staying, I could just open up a new sample of a snarky bar and um, just leave it there, throw it away when I was done because that would be a lot easier to deal with than lugging a wet snarky bar around and having half of it come off in the baggie or anything like that. So if you cut it up while it's dry and put it into individual baggies, this was my preferred way of taking it. And that's what um, I did and I really liked that I did that. Because snarky bars, I was able to keep my feet um, nice and scrubbed so they were nice and smooth. Um, I was able to keep my um, keratosis pilaris at bay, you know, the, those red bumps. Um, and I just, I'm glad that I had them. Um, so I'm looking around from everything I still haven't quite unpacked. It looks like that's the main products that I used. Um, sorry, I'm not going to go into more detail. I think I brought a few more, but um, these were the workhorses. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely partake in the blessings that are our big fat yummy hand creams because these guys made such a difference on the plane um, just allowing yourself when you're kind of in that yucky state to just zen out to get in your own space to enjoy the fragrance of your choice um, that made the hugest difference to me and the convenience of the size the amount that it um, even though the sizes in my opinion are a little small the fact that there's no fillers in Posh products means that they last a long time. So I can bring something that doesn't occupy a lot of space. I know it's going to last me more than the length of my trip. Um, and I know it's really good for my skin. So I'm really glad that I brought everything I did um, and shared with you guys a little bit about what you can do while you travel and utilize Posh. Um, so I hope that that gave you some clarity and gives you some ideas for what you guys want to do in the future. If you guys have any questions about my trip, I'd be more than happy to share more information. I just didn't want this to be too off topic. Um, but hopefully this gives you some uh, tips and ideas for how you guys can utilize your own posh. If you uh, want to talk more, just uh, contact me at the information I can provide below, and we will talk soon. All right, good night, guys. Have a good night.